Ladies and gentlemen, for the first time ever, tonight we will crown brand new six-man SWE Tag Team Champions right here tonight. This is the first time that there are six-man titles on the line. Castellanos falling victim again to a set of closed lines. Hoss is in, he's getting it too. Rodney Mack is in. Hey, they're all getting a taste of it here tonight. Castellanos has him up. Oh, this could be it. One, two, three, and the winners. Ladies and gentlemen, your winners of the match. Castellanos, Ronnie Mack, and Charlie Hall! I am the fury! Pray, pray, you have to face the truth! No peace when there's a war in you! One judgment, no charity! Tonight on SWE Fury, Rodney Mack, accompanied by Privilege, defends his television title against Timothy Theory. Jack Stane, along with Michael Darkhart, take on the team of Andrew Anderson and Noby Bryant. And in our main event, we will see the debut here at SWE Fury of the Mortons. The team of wrestling legend Ricky Morton and his son Kerry Morton. Our correspondent Emily May was able to meet up with Ricky and Kerry to get some of their thoughts on their upcoming match. Hey everyone, welcome to SWE Fury. I'm Emily May and I am so excited to be here with the Mortons, generations of wrestling legends right here with me. Starting off with Carrie, how are you feeling about tonight? Wow, uh, the electricity in this room is electric and I am enjoying every moment thus far. I mean, I'm here at SWE Fury and Lubbock, Texas with my father, a second generation wrestler, which is passing the torch down to a third generation wrestler. You know, my grandfather to my father to now myself and what a better feeling. I have the best trainer in the world. It's so incredible. It's so heartwarming to see you both together. How does it, how do you keep going after 40 plus years in this industry? That's you know, incredible. Well, you, you got to understand it's the love for my business. I uh, professional wrestling from the day one. My dad, back years ago, I just fell in love with this business. Not only that, but the fans. Because you got to understand, without the fans, none of us could do that. Absolutely. I, I've always, and I brought that down to my son to always understand it. Our fans always come number one. That's why we never minded being number two. But I understand what I, what I like. The years of me wrestling, especially out here in Texas. Oh, I'm sorry, Lubbock, Texas, Odessa, Texas, Amarillo, Texas. Brownsville, Texas, Harlingen, Texas. I've been in them all, and I love it all. Over the years and everything, and I want to thank everybody for watching our TV show. And if you get a chance, come out and see the best show right here in the state of Texas, SWE Erie. Hoorah! We will see the Mortons in action later tonight. But up next, we have a singles match scheduled between Frank Stone and Bam Bam Malone. Let's join Bob Malden as he calls the action. You want to talk about an individual working his way to the top ranks here. He's had world title matches. He's had chances at the TV title. And here he is tonight against the very well-established Bam Bam Malone. Frank Stahl, the Black Stallion, making his way to the ring here in Lubbock, Texas. What a great building for professional wrestling. First time to make the trek out quite this far west. And so glad the fans of Lubbock, as you can see from the crowd of people showing up here to support. In your face, Texas style professional wrestling here on SWE Fury. Referee Ben Scheinberg gonna be in charge of the action here tonight. Fast becoming one of the uh, preeminent referees in all of professional wrestling. So great to have him along here as the bell rings and we are underway here in Lubbock, Texas. Frank Stone, Bam Bam Malone. And uh, well, a little sign of respect here from these guys. Always nice to see good competition, friendly competition here. And SWE Fury in this great ring, in this great arena. Here as uh, these guys tie it up into the corner, rolling now to the other corner near side here 
And now struggling out, what's gonna happen? Referee Scheinberg trying to uh, break that up. And Bam Bam, he backs off. Frank Stone here. Locking up with Bam Bam Malone now. Referee's stance or collar and elbow tie-up, whichever you want to refer it to. Turns into a side headlock here. Some slaps to the midsection there from Bam Bam Malone trying to break that off. He gets it. Wow. And Stone comes back like a Mack truck and mows him down. Bam Bam Malone reeling in the ring now. As Scheinberg checks on him. All right, feeling each other out, tying up again. Stone now finds himself in a headlock. Forearm shots off the ropes now. Whips him off, comes back, shoulder tackle of his own from Bam Bam. And they go, tying up for a third time in this match. Now back into the corner again. Referee calling for a clean break there. As Malone backs off, Stone pushing him out of the corner. Uh-oh, now we have a bit of a shoving match here. The two head to head here, Stone putting Malone into that headlock there, which he wrenches on there. Brings him over, headlock takeover. He's got him down on the mat now. Could be a pinning predicament here for Malone, but he rolls over. Stone gets a gets two. It's barely two. That hand might have come down a little, uh, a little too fast there. It really was a long one count. Malone trying to work his way back up here, trying to work his way out of this predicament he's found himself in. Four arm shots. To the kidney area there of Stone. Going behind now, what does he have here? Whoa! Bam Bam trying to come up with some sort of offense there. Finds himself in the air and nothing but a pancake to the mat. They're a little unexpected for uh, Malone who finds himself again trying to get his head back in the game here and his head just gets jolted by that forearm shot of Stone. Irish Whip now off the ropes. Runs straight into those forearms. And a pin, two. That's all it's gonna be. Stone now going behind, got a bear hug there right on the mat. Uh, not giving Bam Bam Malone a chance to catch his wind or work his way back up at all. He's trying to get the crowd to rally behind him. They're, they're still trying to decide who to root for in this match. Uh, Malone comes down going for a jawbreaker there. Might have hit a little high, and so does that. Forearm shot right to the face of Frank Stone, who's now on the ropes. Reversal. There goes Malone. Comes back. Way a huge drop kick there. Connecting just enough to send Bam Bam Malone right back to the mat where he spent the significant portion of this match. Pin one, two, and... And barely two there, good two, I guess, and then uh, not quite three. As Malone kicks out, Stone has him up again. Into the corner. Whip now out of the corner, reversed. Whoa, big flying tackle there. From Frank Stone sends Bam Bam Malone back to the mat again. Reversed again here, right into that big single leg. Count of only two there, a little offense from Bam Bam Malone. Getting his head back into this thing here. Can he do it in this Lubbock, Texas heat? Is it affecting his performance? Is it affecting the way things are gonna play out here tonight as we see them? Out here in the flatlands, the plains, Lubbock, Texas. Going for a suplex there, blocked by Stone. Who reverses it and gets one of his own now. More SWE Fury coming up right after these messages. Oh, 
Hard clubbing forearm shot to the shoulders now. Weakened from that big suplex. Had a double reversal there. Malone comes back. A kick, drop kick, and uh, what's he calling for here? Malone is uh, heading out of the ring. Down to that ring apron. What's it going to be here? Look out, Stone. He rolls out of the way, and nobody home. These guys are going to have to recover if this match is going to continue. We're now under the four-minute mark in this match. And both of them laid out on the canvas here. As referee Ben Scheinberg is counting now, uh, up to his knees is Malone and uh, catching that second foot and this count will end. All right. The count ends as Malone is now back to his feet. Here he comes, runs straight into that forearm. Back elbow now. A Frank Stone. These guys are both back in this here, but Stone has him up in a fireman's carry. What's it gonna be here? Oh, wow. That could be the end. But he's not going for the pin. What is he doing? Frank Stone wasting time here. Whoa, wait a minute. Ladies and gentlemen, I've just been informed by our referee that it has the 10 limit. The time limit has run out. It is a draw. A time limit draw. When they announce that time limit at the beginning of these matches, it means something, folks. And it means right now that when this match was set with a 10 minute time limit, that's all you had. But wait a minute, Stone here trying to rally the crowd Follow and the us. SWE officials. We got a thumbs up. Ladies and gentlemen, Teddy Long making his way to the ring. What is this? I bet everybody here wants five more minutes. I don't know what I meant. Well, there's the boss. I said I think everybody here wants five more minutes. How about that? Well, ring that bell. This match is back underway. Oh, wow. Frank Stone comes crashing in, wasting no time. The second bell of this match hits. And now these guys are going at it like it's just started. So much for my speech on time limits. You never know what you're going to see in an SWE Fury ring. I'll save all my dissertations on rules until I see the participants walk to the back from now on, folks. Out here in the middle, body slam there from Frank Stone in this second wind of this first match here on SWE Fury. Stone going up, I think. He's pointing up. There he goes, first, second. Now third, he's on the top rope, ladies and gentlemen. Oh wow, Bam Bam Malone hitting that top rope and losing his footing and down goes Stone, right on the stones. We'll let that one marinate a minute. Headbutts now on the top rope. Bam Bam, right up there with Frank Stone. These two fighting like this thing just begun, but wear and tear beginning to show here. Wait a minute, what is this? Oh no, oh no, it, it couldn't be, it is, oh wow. Stone on the top rope, Malone on the second rope. And I don't know who just... Stone thinks he's Ladies won this thing. I've just been informed, your winner of the match, Bam Bam Malone. Wait a minute. Both men thinking they had the pin. Stone vehemently denying that the outcome of this match. It looked very much like he had his shoulders pinned, but so... Did Bam Bam Malone, referee's decision going to Bam Bam. A very disappointing end for Frank Stone, who thought he had this one. 
in, in a second win here. This match went to an actual close there with an actual winner walking out. There might be some debate as to whether or not that's in fact the winner as Frank Stone now makes his way out of the ring and raises his hands. We are done here for this match. Our opening contest back in just a moment here on SWE Fury. We're back here on SWE Fury and there they are making their way to the ring right now. Six man tag champions. A team consisting of the real world champion and the television champion making his way to the ring right now to defend his belt, Rodney Mack. Followed by Charlie Haas, Max Castellanos in the prospects. Big Fitz. Privilege making uh, no attempt to make friends here in Lubbock, Texas, West Texas Fury Fest. As you see Charlie Haas there. His belt, Max Castellanos, that six man belt. And Big Fitz, keeping order as Privilege makes their way to the ring. Jim Theory getting his shot at the belt tonight here. And we will go down to Aaron Presley for the ring announcements to introduce this title match here on SWE Fury. for one fall. Standing to my right is the challenger. He weighed in this afternoon at 225 pounds. He is the Chaos Mountain <laughs> And standing to my left is the champion. Referee Soda Hendricks getting things started here, taking that belt, which is on the line. Rodney Mack defending that title. Television champion must do so on TV at a minimum of every other week. Rodney Mack been doing it more so. That belt is on the line here as Theory comes in here to take on Rodney Mack and hopes to walk out of West Texas Fury Fest, the TV champion. I will say the odds and the men outside the ring are stacked against him. As we get underway here, these guys circling the ring, squaring up here. The SWE Fury, West Texas Fury Fest, thank you so much to the great fans in Lubbock, Texas for having us out. Rodney Mack gets it started by wrenching on the arm. There he rolls out, rolls again. Here he comes trying to reverse it, and he did. Gaining control here in the early going, and that's stopped right away by Rodney Mack in that high knee. Elbows and forearms. The man is built like a steel wall. Slammed to the corner there, runs straight into a back elbow. As Theory tries to mount a little bit of a comeback here, only to find himself planted once again by that stiff clothesline. Theory drops down, Rodney Mack up and over there goes Theory. Uh-oh, hip tosses, block, knee there, and a big clubbing blow across the back. Once again, normalizing. The offense of Theory goes to jump again. This time runs straight into that headbutt, right to the sternum. That'll knock the wind out of you. Rodney Mack dropping down, and uh, it's a choke hold there. Referee trying to break that up. Come on, Rodney Mack. What is that? A 
Well, like a necklace or something there that Theory had on him, and it's gone now as he goes flying into the the steel pole in the corner there. What's Haas doing? Haas is working on him now too. Elbow right to the top of the head there. And head-to-head -head combat there as Rodney Mack headbutts him. He goes down, pin of only one that time. Theory kicking out early. Might not be time yet to try to put that man down for the count. Theory coming up, forearm shots to the midsection there. Theory looking to mount some sort of decent offense here. Has yet to do so. Might be a little early to go for this one. Oh, wow. Rodney Mack, uh-oh, locking him into that, that submission hold. The euthanizer, the euthanizer applied. Tim Theory, come on, he's tapping now. Euthanizer applied, he taps, but no. Rodney Mack not letting up. He will not be happy until that man is asleep. A veteran with all the credentials of the great Rodney Mack. Definitely does not need to kick a man when he's down, but that seems to be the modus operandi of privilege. As now all three members are in the ring, and there's one Tim Theory in a very bad spot right now as he's surrounded by privilege. And Rodney Mack puts that euthanizer on him again. Castellanos, Haas. Oh, good grief. This is unnecessary, completely uncalled for as the spray paint comes out here and Privilege standing tall in the ring, although I wouldn't say necessarily in the right here. They are your six-man tag team champions here in SWE Fury and a force to be reckoned with, no doubt about it. Max Castellanos, Charlie Haas, and the man who just successfully defended that TV title, Rodney Mack. They are privileged. And you are watching SWE Fury. I'm Bob Molden from Lubbock, Texas. We're back in just a moment. Coming up after the break, Andrew Anderson shares his thoughts on his upcoming match as well as his new tag team partner. More SWE Fury after this. Andrew Anderson, after everything that has happened between you and Nigel, how are you How are you feeling? Well, you know what, let me tell you something, honey. I feel great. I feel great, and you know what? All revolutions start with one man, and this revolution heralds the fall of the, the Rabbit Empire. Because you know what, Nigel Rabbit, Jack Stane, tonight you have a mystery partner against me, and I have my partner, a man who came and had my back for no reason whatsoever. A former opponent of mine, a rival of mine, Noby Bryant. Noby, come here. I got this guy right here watching my back, and I don't need anybody anymore. I don't need Nigel Rabbit. I don't need Jack Stane. I have Noby Bryant. Tell him, Noby. You know, I'm glad that I'm not the only one here at SWE who hates the Rabbit Empire. I'm glad if you was able to open your eyes and see the snake that he really is. Now, I came to SWE to win championships, and I know you did too. That's right, baby. Your eyes are wide open now, Andrews. So tonight, I think you and I need to take care of business. Nigel Rabbit, he's going to get what's coming to him. Nigel Rabbit, we're going to skip the social lubricant right now. And I'm just going to come out and tell you straight. I'm going to stomp you through that mat if you stick your face in our business. Jack Stane, you call yourself Godzilla? Well, I'm the gorilla. And I brought Rodan with me. Noby Lee. Coming up after the break, we will see the next chapter in the saga of Andrew Anderson versus the Rabbit Empire. And don't forget about our main event as the Mortons make their SWE Fury debut in tag team action. Don't go anywhere. To them because I wouldn't get near these guys. They Good all night. seem to be on edge. What a night. Really, yeah. What a night. Rodney Mack, we've seen him, we've seen him go at it before, but we I never like this, never this way. He unloaded on Niles Plunkett before the bell even rung, and and now, hmm, probably not such a good idea to try to headbutt the rent dog, Rodney Mack. Yeah. 
There he shows him. A lot of intensity Real tonight. quickly, yeah. From a lot of guys, Charlie Haas, uh, Moonshine, and, and Max Castellanos. Uh, Andrew Anderson and broken yeah, arm. broken arm. This, my, my goodness, wow. Yeah. The, the girls' title change, I mean, the pull apart. We had every, a, a little bit of everything, some great professional wrestling. Rodney Mack, that more big, like professional fighting. <laughs> yeah. Big clubbing blow there, and there's an elbow for his trouble. As Plunkett is fighting with everything he has to hang on to that TV title. He's come out here, he has fun in his matches. He, he fights hard, but this is the fight of his life. He could leave here tonight without that TV title. Only a count of one there. If I was him right now, I'd start rolling out of the ring and try to let the TV time limit run out. That, that, well, that, that would be a smart strategy to have, uh, especially when you, you the de deal is you have to beat the, time, the champion in yeah. 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minute time limit is very important and it's something to be very mindful of here in this match as now Blanquet oh. is tied up in the ropes. And here we have Rodney Mack using every last bit of that count with a choke hold there as Alex Morazas tries to get him off and, and help Blanquet out of the ropes. This is not a good situation to be in if you're the TV champ. No other ring. Uh, I tell you what, I got to give him some respect though. He's fighting. You know, he's not, he's not taking the easy way. Rodney is, is about as intense as I've ever seen him, and I've known him since the very first time he stepped into a ring. It's unreal. Rodney Mack, he had some trouble with his tag team partner and uh, was then unable to keep that tag team title that he had. And then all of a sudden he, he came in here, had the chance. Whoa! Big back body drop. He had the chance to come in here and uh, get that number one contendership, which put him in this match right here that we're watching right now. And and how much more punishment can the champ take Man, right I'm now? I'm telling you, it's brutal. I, I'm with you. I got to give him all the credit in the world. He's still fighting. He he is trying to, I think, in his head count. How many more minutes do I got to take this? <laughs> Well, you know, Niles has never been known to be a guy that, that stood there and fought like he has, but he's doing it tonight, man. He's, I'm telling you. He is got, he's all fight tonight. He is not letting up one bit. Big drop oh, kick wow. there. Hook a leg. Yeah, you did. Oh, not as strong enough to hold Rodney down. Uh, I think he's probably uh, slowed down just a hair from all of that punishment that he's taken. Yeah. Wait a minute. Referee Alex Moraz is trying to get in there. Oh, the chain! Oh, wow. The chain! <laughs> I'm surprised that wasn't a DQ. That, well, well, the referee, the referee was down. One, it. two, three! Oh, three, one! Goodness. We've got a new TV champion! What a show! What a way to end the show! Here on SWE Fury, could there be a change of strategy from the Rabbit Empire? That remains to be seen as. And ladies and gentlemen, their opponents. 
Their opponents getting ready to make their way to the ring here tonight. Making their way to the ring. First from New York City, New York. Star of stage, screen, and TV. Only enforcer, Andrew Anderson. And the real deal, Nobby Bryant. The reinforcer, Andrew Anderson and making his way to the ring after a nasty split with the Rabbit Empire just a couple of weeks ago here on SWE Fury. Andrew Anderson here with the guy that came to his aid when Crimson and Dane turned on him. Noby Bryant is out here with him. The real deal is out here with the reinforcer to take on members of the Rabbit Empire, Jax Dane and Michael Darkheart here under the watchful eye of the dastardly Nigel Rapid. Seems to be a little discussion out there between Nigel Rabbit, Jack Stane, and the referee and Michael Darkhart about who's going to actually start this one. And Rabbit gets his way. Darkhart begins here against, looks like it's going to be Andrew Anderson as uh, Alex Morazas, senior official, calls for the bell. And this one is underway as Darkhart sneaks up from behind and gets things started here. Andrew Anderson, who of late, We've seen uh, kind of shape up a little bit here, and he is ready for battle up against the Rabbit Empire in the gym day after day. Andrew Anderson's dropped a lot of weight here lately and gained a lot of muscle as he uses it there to throw Darkheart right over his back in that big back body drop. Couple of clotheslines there from Anderson as he goes in for the tag here in Novi Bryant. Gets the tag, here he comes, and the referee's counting. Let's get this thing done. And a body slam, and Brian is right there. One, two, no, that's all it's good for. I thought that was going to be the end of the match already here. Noby Brian, Andrew Anderson here. Up against the team of Michael Darkhart. And Jax Dane, uh, who is seeming to have some issues with Nigel Rabbit of his own. Up and over goes Noby. Flips and ready with a big old spinning heel kick right to the face. That masked face of Darkheart. The crowd approves one, two, and that's all it's going to be. Right as referee Alex Morazas goes to bring the hand down for that three count. The tag is made now in the corner. Andrew Anderson in the ring. Going straight to work on Darkheart here. Ah. Uh, might have been a good idea to start things off with Jack Stane here and let Darkheart come in for cleanup. I think we might have seen a different pattern on this uh, match if, if Darkheart had been uh, maybe to be the relief. Jack Stane, that wall of muscle pacing in his corner there of the Rabbit Empire. Suplex. Andrew Anderson goes, uh, is it going to be a pin? No, right back to work on Darkheart. He's not finished yet. Club and glow there. And a tag made again. Noby Bryant making his way into the ring. Anderson sets him up. Noby takes advantage. Anderson's out. Scoop slam. And dropping the knee right to the head of Darkheart. Pin of two. Darkheart's out just shy of three. Well, I reckon the eyes there. Referee saw that one. Better watch that, Michael. Michael Darkhart running straight into the booth there. Nobby Bryant, big clothesline. They should call that a lariat coming out of the corner like that. And uh, here we go. Abdominal stretch. Abdominal stretch. Here comes Jack Stane. Oh, good grief. That breaks that up. Jack drags Darkhart over to the corner, gets back in the legal position, and then gets the tag. And here he is in now to work on Nobby Bryant. Jack Stane taking matters into his own hands. Oh, there he goes. Uh, 
little payback for leaving the Rabbit Empire for Andrew Anderson. Jack staying in here and taking control now. As Nigel Rabbit outside the ring watches, uh, we, we would hope with approval here of what Jack Stane is able to do here, working that muscle there. Nope, he's got him in a front face lock. Wow, those huge arms, like dropping a tree limb on the back of Noby Bryant. Up in a fireman's carry now, what's it gonna be? Wait a minute, a tag is made, Darkheart makes a tag and he is in now. Jack Stain was going to the corner to get some momentum there for what he was planning to do. Just dumps Noby Bryant and says, okay, fine, you take him. And Darkheart stomping in the corner kind of uh, weakly there, but uh, gets the foot in the throat of Noby Bryant. Referee Alex Morales tells him back off. Bryant scooped up, goes behind now. Whoa, there you go, that's one way to turn that around. Jack Stane is down now is, and having a little conference outside the ring. Nigel Rabbit. Here comes Andrew Anderson back, ready to go. Forearm shots, couple of chops there. What's it gonna be? Anderson, oh, good grief. They heard that one in Amarillo. Irish whip now, ducks the clothesline. Here he comes again, Anderson's got him. He's up. What's it gonna be? Follow a slam. Anderson has him down. One, two, and three. Then it's over. Anderson and Bryant winning this tag team bout. Well, a little disappointment there from Jack Stane and his new tag partner there, Michael Darkhart, into the ring at having words with Darkhart, who's still trying to come around. Doesn't really know where he is right now. Nigel Rabbit trying to keep his men together here. But wait a minute. Oh no. Jack Stane has his hands on Rabbit now. Jack Stane with his hands on Nigel Rabbit. Look at, he's looking at the crowd. The crowd is telling him, the crowd is telling him, dump, dump Nigel Rabbit, dump Nigel Rabbit, and here he goes. Oh, good grief, a huge headbutt there. Expect Nigel Rabbit to wake up sometime next week, and it's safe to say that Jack Stane now is no longer a member of the Rabbit Empire. Darkheart, better look out. Oh, good grief. Exclamation point there as Jack Stane submits his resignation. Letter submitted, signed, all the I's are dotted, T's are crossed, and Jack Stane ugh, is no longer a member of the Rabbit Empire now. What will we see next? I guess we'll find out right after this here on SWE Fury. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm right here with the man himself, Jack Stane. Jack's tonight, I think we saw the straw that finally broke the Campbell's back. Tell me what was going through your mind here tonight with Nigel Rabbit. Man, it's, it's, it's been so frustrating ever, got, ever since I got to SWE. It's the best wrestling in Texas, but since I've been here, Nigel Rabbit has had my contract. I've been under his thumb. I've had a manager. I don't work well like that. You see, I become the world champion without a manager. I come the world champion as a one-man army. And it's time I get back to doing what I do best. You see, I don't need a manager. I don't need a partner out here in Texas. I don't need a nanny at home. I'm here to do work. I'm here to be the man. And all I need is an opportunity. And it doesn't matter to me whether it's the Texas title, whether it's the world championship with privilege. It doesn't matter if it's Rodney Mack. Opportunity is all I need. Opportunity is what I want. And opportunity is what I will take. Godzilla is back. Ladies and gentlemen, you heard it right there. Godzilla is back. All the champions be watching out. You heard it right here first. Jack Stane, he's on a mission. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to keep the action rolling. Right now, I want to bring out a young man that I had the opportunity to work with.
work with in my career. Uh, I have to, well, some of you may remember I managed a team called Doom, which Reed Ron Simmons, and we had a lot of great matches with this guy, him and his partner. But tonight, he's here in SWE, and he wants to be a part of it. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to give a big round of applause for Ricky Martin, the Rock and Roll Express, ladies and gentlemen. Hey! Legend making his way to the ring here in one Ricky Morton, one half of the Rock and Roll Express here in SWE Fury. And look at that. New tag team. The Mortons. Ricky and his son here making their way to the ring. Ricky Morton in SWE Fury. Introduction of Kerry Morton. The Mortons are here and ready to rock and roll. Our main event begins right after these messages. The new tag team duo, Ricky Morton and Kerry Morton, the Mortons here on SWE Fury. Tag team action getting underway here and, uh-oh, all right, yep. Now it's Plunke, that's his music. Approaching the ring from Napa Valley. Well, you'll see that Blanque is being accompanied to the ring by Carlton Easley. And uh, Easley and Blanque, this is the first time we've seen them paired up. Blanque has been uh, paired up most recently with Michael Berry. But tonight, here in Lubbock, Texas, we see the Mortons. Of course, Ricky Morton, we normally see him with Robert Gibson as the Rock and Roll Express. Tonight, he's teamed up with his son, Kerry, as the Mortons. And uh, on the other side of the ring, another unlikely pairing, Niles Planque with Carlton Easley here tonight. The to face off in tag team action in our main event here on SWE Fury. The fans solidly behind rock and roll. The Mortons there, Ricky Morton, Kerry Morton. And it looks like Kerry's gonna start things here as the legend, Ricky Morton, waits outside the ring. I'd like to point out the fact that Niles Planque was trained, in part at least, by the great Harley Race, someone that I know Ricky Morton would have encountered many, many times in his career. 
And as he looks out across that ring tonight, seeing his son in action here, I'm sure he's going to see some familiar moves, some familiar counters, offense and defensively here from Planquet, trained by the legend Harley Race. And, whoa, wait a minute. What is that? Carey dropping down and causing Planquet, I think maybe that was a drop toe hold there. Couldn't really see what actually happened, but Planquet went down and uh, found himself in the grip of Kerry Morton. Kerry's got him from behind, hammerlock there. Snap bear, rolls right back over and gets that hammerlock cinched back up on the mat. Again, Planquet trying to get out of the uh, hammerlock there, applied by Kerry Morton, son of Ricky Morton. And I would normally go on and on about, you know, the good old days of watching his father wrestled, but his, his father's right over there and ready to be tagged in at any moment now in this match. A current competitor and his son here working together. Reminds me of the old days of Fritz and Kevin and Kerry teaming up. But here we are. Up and over goes Kerry. Big hip toss there. Planquet finds himself reeling into the corner as Kerry goes up. Got the leg scissors applied, snaps him over. Monke Days, arm drag. Right into that arm bar there. SWE Fury, Lubbock, Texas. Great main event here, tag team action here by the long established, at least as far as SWE Fury fans are concerned, Niles Planquet. Taking on, there is a tag that's been made right there. Here comes Ricky in, knee lifted right into the face of Planquet. And now the legend is in the ring with the man trained by a legend. Niles Planquet here, the connoisseur, as the crowd chants rock and roll. Oh, a rake to the eyes there. Is enough for easily to be tagged in now. Irish whip reversed. Morton reverses it, hits the ropes. Here he comes again. Wow, nice lariat there. Tag is made. Here comes young Kerry Morton. Arm is held. Oh, off the top ropes there. Easily. And Morton in the ring now. Into the corner, tag is made, uh-oh. Morton hits a drop kick there. Greets Planquet with an elbow and a drop kick for his trouble. As Kerry Morton moves very familiar that you might have seen in the 80s and 90s when his dad and Robert Gibson tagged as the Rock and Roll Express. Morton responding to Carlton Easley's outside interference there, distracted just in time to walk right into a clothesline from Planquet, who is uh, taking a shortcut there behind the referee's back. One is all it's good for. Niles Planquet and Carlton Easley teaming up here together tonight. Shoulder to the midsection there as Gibson or I should say Morton, trying to uh, get out of that corner, a bad place to be right there, and uh, really definitely cutting off that ring, as Kevin Sullivan would say. They uh, now front face lock there from Carlton Easley as Morton struggles to get out. Gary Morton, his father, Ricky Morton, leading the chant from the ringside there. Morton working his way up. Elbows and knee there back from Easley who now takes him back over, cutting off that ring again. And just double teaming in the corner and that's and the tag is made. Wonder if Miraza saw that tag. Planquet now, snap bear takeover. Planquet off the rope. Drops down with the knee pin, one, two, and not quite three as Morton rallies. 
Kerry Morton, son of Ricky Morton of the Rock and Roll Express here, the Mortons tag team duo. Here seen for the first time on SWE Fury where the legends come to play in your face, Texas style professional wrestling. Be sure to check out that SWE Fury app. You can find out where to get that and so much more at SWEFury.com. Ricky Morton objecting some of the things he's seeing in the ring, some of the shortcuts of Niles Plonkay. This right here though, textbook body slam. Since Kerry Morton to the mat and now he's just gonna twist on that head a little bit, putting a lot of pressure on the jaw and the neck of Kerry Morton. Backed into the corner is Planquet there, shoulders to the midsection. Planquet, it's reversed. Into the corner, up and a huge back body drop there. Could this be a turning point? Could this be an opportunity for us to see the legend, Ricky Morton, in action? Carey trying to get to his feet, trying to get to his corner there. No gas left in the tank, but here he goes. He rolls out, he gets it. Ricky Morton is tagged, he's in, easily in. Plumke, and now an elbow for their trouble. Ricky Morton in with Carlton Easley now, Irish whip. Runs right straight into that sleeper hole, but Plumke is still there. He pushes it, Ricky Morton. Kerry Morton is in now. Referee Alex Morazas better regain control here. Oh no! Ducking that clothesline there, and uh, looks like easily delivers it to his own man, Planquet. And now, Ricky Morton off the ropes. Punch to the gut, sunset flip. Could he have him? He drags him back from the ropes, gets that pin in. Two, three. Ricky Morton and Kerry Morton, winners. That's right, Ricky, Kerry Morton. Your winners here, their first showing in SWE Fury. So good to see the legend Ricky Morton and the next generation of great star, Kerry Morton, his son, getting the pin there on Blanque and Carlton Easley. What a great match here. Wait a minute, who is that? Charlie Haas. Charlie Haas and Privilege are here. They've hit the ring, and now chaos ensues. We have all the Privilege in the ring. Fitz. Holding Morton in the corner there. Well, Charlie Haas, Rodney Mack, and Max Castellanos do a number on Kerry Morton. Not a very welcoming side here. As Privilege, not exactly laying out the welcome mat here for the Mortons in SWE Fury. Castellanos getting in the face of Morton there. And what is this? Oh, great. Charlie Haas now taking a chair to the legend. Ricky Morton as Fitz holds on to him. And now they've got Kerry Morton laid out in the ring. What is this gonna be? Haas is up, the chair. Haas going to the top rope. Wait a minute, now they hit the deck and they're gone because there is Jack Stain. Jax is here and the ring clears. Jack Sting coming to the rescue here of uh, Ricky Morton and his son, Kerry. Well, there you have it from Lubbock, Texas, ladies and gentlemen, for Tom Lance, our general manager, Teddy Long, Lacey Von Eric. I'm Bob Mulder. We'll see you here next time on SWE Fury.